as you might be able to tell from my voice or my appearance, I'm really sick today. Apparently I caught the flu. I know it's the flu because, well, okay, I'll just tell the whole story. On Sunday, we went to a wedding and by the time we got home from the wedding, my husband was real sick. We were fine in the morning, but he was real sick by the time we got home from the wedding. Uh, the next day he had, I thought he might have COVID. He tested negative. Uh, by the second day, it was Tuesday, he was pretty sick. I ended up calling work and making sure I could come into work because my next day of work was Wednesday and they're like, as long as you've got no symptoms and he's testing negative, not a problem. So I went into work on Wednesday, totally feeling okay. I had like a slight, slight tingle in my throat by the end of the night. And then the next day I woke up with like it was full cold symptoms. Um, by then he was pretty sick. He had a fever, whole, the whole, it, it, it seemed like COVID, but I was making him do a test like every other day on Thursday when I got symptoms, I tested also negative every time. I actually tested last night too. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. That's what the video is all about, okay? We'll get there. By Friday, he was like probably the sick, well, I think Thursday night to Friday, his fever like hit its max and it broke. And then he started like improving, which was good because Thursday when I started getting symptoms, I just like woke up with like the full, the, the sore throat running. No, it was starting to get bad. I was running around trying to get medicine and things set up because I knew like if he's as bad as he is and I'm getting worse, I'm not going to be able to go and get pho every day. We're living off, we were living off of pho. Pho is like the best possible thing to have when you're sick like this. Pho is so good. Okay, so we were living off of pho and I was running around getting the last pho I knew I'd be able to get before I was too sick to get it. And we managed to get like uh, Tamiflu, cop, we have every kind of cough drops. We're doing uh, Chinese medicine here. Let me cut it. I got like every kind of vitamin. We've been taking vitamins since Monday. This Chinese medicine, which I don't think tastes very good, but Josh does because it, he grew up with it. Also say hi to Zuko. I think Zuko's hanging out here. Okay, that's going to reveal what we're doing today. Don't look there. But anyway, so I was kind of progressively getting worse. He's getting better. That's the way you do it. That's what marriage is all about, right? <laughs> one of you gives the other one a cold. They got to get better before you get worse. Yeah, that kind of thing. Um, but so last night he was doing pretty good and I, I'm getting worse. I'm pretty bad today, but I had enough energy to do this cause I'm like fascinated here. Anyway, uh, he said I should apply some Vicks and actually I should have got the Vicks. Oh, okay. You wait a second. I'll be right back. Okay. I have it. So Vicks is like, like chest of, this one isn't the brand name one, but you know, like this stuff. Um, so he opened a brand new one and opened it. And after like I applied it already, I was like, does it smell like Vicks? And he was like, yeah, it smells like really strongly like Vicks. It might as well be petroleum jelly, you guys. I can't, nothing, nothing. And so then I kind of went in panic mode and I was running, I was like, you're, you're serious. This smells like Vicks. This has a scent. This has any scent at all. I'm telling you, nothing. Nothing. I was put it on my nose. I shouldn't do that because I'm trying to, to... What we're doing today is a taste test, okay? I did a test last night then, panicking, thinking I had COVID. Uh, apparently the flu can also get rid of your senses and being stuffed up can get rid of your senses. But basically, I can't smell my taste. And it, it was kind of funny because yesterday, like, he got fuffed from a new place and he's like, oh, how's the broth? And I was like... It's kind of like a really clear broth. Like, I didn't really think about it. I was just like, it's not maybe as flavorful as some of the other places we've gone, but I just didn't, I didn't think about it. I also didn't think about the fact that like I had put new lemons in my tea and I was like, man, this tea is just so weak. I didn't think about it until with the Vicks. Oh, see, now I feel the burn from putting the Vicks on my nose, but I can't smell a thing about it. It's, it's wild. Okay, that's really the thing. Like, no one talks about how kind of scary it is when you just suddenly can't smell things. It's like... Smell is almost like one of the ways that we sense danger. Uh, and it's like, that's just turned out, like there's just nothing there. And so it almost makes you feel like really, really vulnerable. I want to have fun with it. So one of the things I was doing last night is like running around smelling things, seeing what I could smell. And I can eat a lemon with no problem. And then we were like really panicking. But anyway, test result was negative. But I thought, since I've got this newfound power, let's eat some weird shit today. And just see how it goes. Like, I don't know if my sense of smell, my sense of smell is not coming back. Because unless this is actually petroleum jelly and he was just trolling me, I don't smell a thing. 
Well, let's just eat some weird things. I don't have a lot. I wish I had more weird stuff. Like, I really wish I had natto in the house. The, like, Japanese fermented beans. I really wish I had that because I don't mind the taste at all. The texture's a little weird. Super healthy for you. The smell is horrific. I really can't handle the smell. But I wish I had that. That would be perfect for today. But I've got some other stuff. So let's just, like, let's just have some things. So first off, coffee. Not a thing. Uh, this morning I found that my coffee and my throat coat tea, that like brand throat coat tea, they did not taste any different to me. <laughs> I thought maybe I was like, oh, maybe I can almost taste my coffee and I taste the throat coat tea. I'm like, damn it, they taste exactly the same. And they don't. So, all right. So just plain black coffee doesn't need any sugar or anything because I can't tell the difference, but it tastes hot. I heated it up. That's why I taste. And then there's like the, um, the sensation of bitter, you know, like the, where your tongue almost like squeezes. So I can, sensations are really weird right now. Like the burning where I put the Vicks on my nose because I'm an idiot. That, it kind of burns a little bit. Also, my nose is super raw. I was going to put on some makeup and then I was like, what's the point? I'm too sick. But yeah, coffee. Nothing. Let's go right in. Here's my lemon wedge. It is a lemon. I'm not like fooling you. I was going to cut it open, but I thought that's too messy. So lemon, as I tried last night, it was kind of weird, but some extra vitamin C. Here we go. Mm. Again, my mouth is trying to do that thing where it wants to like pucker, but I don't actually taste the sourness. I got a napkin. I got that all over my face. Like my tongue wants to pucker. But there's no, like, there's the, the physical sensation of the puckering and no taste at all. Oh, it's super weird. Yeah, and I can taste, the, like, almost like the texture of a sour. Is that thick? Like, the texture of sour. Like, it just like the way my mouth reacts to it. But there's no actual taste. It's kind of wild. It's really cool, actually, if you guys, if you ever say... <coughs> I didn't forget to mention, right before I started filming, I did clear my nose out as best I could. Also, my ears are like plugged up, so I can't really hear very well. All I'm doing is watching reruns of B Run BTS. That's so much fun, okay? Run B BTS doing flying yoga has like made my morning. I've seen it like three times already, right? and it's still made my morning. There's so, <laughs> it's just like seven ADHD puppies flirt their way through an exercise class. It's so funny. Ah, oh, man, okay. Next I have, I didn't have any onion, but I've got garlic. I can't smell garlic. I don't smell anything, actually. Oh, okay, I cracked it. I can't break it for a second. Here, let's just break off a piece. Oh, there's like the faintest. I thought I smelled it. I think right nostril might be a little stronger than left nostril. Because if I really get it up there, there's like, there's like the memory of a smell. You know, like how seltzer wine, oh. Just a little bit on this side. If I really get it up there, it's like it is like the memory of a smell. But anyway, let's just have some garlic. Here we go. I just ripped it off of here. Here we go. Oh, that's also it's weird. It again has that like the sensation of the bitterness, the sensation of the your mouth being like like puckering, but none of the taste. Oh, I can like feel it burn down my throat. Oops, the way like raw it's raw garlic burns and yet there's none of the taste oh so this is gonna be real fun when we get to the hot sauces okay we're gonna go, we're gonna work our way there i thought maybe next we'll do something like fish sauce fish sauce is one of the ones i tried last night <laughs> no and i get the good this is the good one this is the right one well it depends on what you're doing with it i think cooking wise um there are some other ones that are a little better but I'll just pour a little bit on the spoon here let's try fish sauce straight so fish sauce I think when you're cooking into something I think it's real it's delicious it's just salty um but the smell of it is very fishy so I'm always like ooh, fish sauce but then I taste it I'm like oh fish sauce so I've never had it straight because oh, it's so salty it's like I just ate well I did I just ate some salt Maybe the, no, I think it's the garlic is coming back. 
for a vengeance. Maybe there's like the slightest bit of a taste. But it's more like a sensation again. That saltiness is like gripping me. The salt, I definitely taste salt. But that's not like a flavor. It's, it's again, it's like a sensation. Let me clear my mouth out before we do anything else. Because, whoo, the saltiness. This is fun, actually. I was feeling like so bad. I took Dayquil a little while. I'm, I'm living off of Dayquil, basically. Like the, when the Dayquil runs out, my body is like, and I attack again. I'm like, no, I gotta take my Dayquil again. So I'm like every four hours on the dot, I'm like timing it because it's like really fast that it starts to be bad again. Okay, next I have some malt vinegar. Nope, this is so wild. This is, I see why people have been doing this this whole time because it is really fun. Also, there's nobody else home at the moment, so this is really, this is how I'm entertaining myself. Nothing. Okay, let's see. It probably tastes like that, that puckery ness again, right? Okay, in the back of my throat, it burned, but it just tasted wet. Yeah, it just tasted wet. Yeah, there was nothing from the malt vinegar. But I have a different, we can also try apple cider vinegar. Who tries, right? Should I clean it? No, I, yeah, I'll clean my mouth after that one too. Not that it makes a difference. I think my body is gonna punish me after all of this, but maybe some of it'll clear me up really is what I'm thinking. This is one of the ones, people actually drink apple cider vinegar for like health reasons, so. I'm accidentally like pouring more and more each time. It's so weird to not smell anything. It really is just like the absence of anything. Get in their right nostril. Nothing. Well, it's, like, it's also like, like, I almost feel deceived. Like, this could be water. So I'm like, I don't know if this has gone bad or anything, you know? Like, I can't tell. I can't tell if something's gone bad. Because you usually rely on smell with that. So it's like, it's kind of confusing. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it was exactly the same as the other one. It, like, burns in the back of the throat just a little bit. Probably where my tonsils are really raw. They probably aren't enjoying all this vinegar going. To, uh, I'm gonna kill them. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna regret this later, but it's fun for right now. It'll be fun for content. But it just tastes wet. Like honestly, other than the temperature, there's no difference between the way the vinegar felt in my mouth and the way the coffee feels in my mouth. So that's fun. Man, I wish I had natto or like a dirt. Well, durian is actually pretty good. I have some kimchi. I do. I love kimchi. I really, we have a ton. Of, I actually have some that I'm making that's my own kimchi. Um, it's like my, I'm not sure if I actually smell anything. Or if my brain like remembers what the scent is. There's like that, that memory of a scent of this one too. Um, let me just get out. Let me just get out a big old piece. It's good for you. This is a spicy one, but it's not that spicy. Like as far as kimchi's go, they can be very spicy, but so I've got some here. Somehow, I don't think it's like, it's not this unpleasant. Not being able to taste kimchi kind of defeats all the purpose of kimchi. Oh, I can I feel the sensation of spice. Which means maybe I don't want to do some of these other ones that I pulled over here. I definitely feel the sensation of spice, like in the back of my throat and on my tongue. But without there's no flavor. And it kind of yeah, it defeats like the 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 thing I like about kimchi. Which <laughs> I like the taste of kimchi. Yeah, just nothing. Huh. I almost wanna like suck on this lemon more. Mmm. That's so wild. Ooh, and then that puckeriness. It's kind of disappointing. Mmm. Well, actually, I was going to have some just rice with kimchi for lunch, but maybe I'll skip the kimchi and just eat rice, because what's the point? It was like this morning, I was like, I'll put some sugar on my oatmeal. What was the point of that? I can't taste the sugar. Like, there's no point in putting sugar in my coffee. I can't taste the difference. Might as well have it that way. 
Yeah. Well, the other thing is, sorry, I'm like wearing out. I'm really tired all of a sudden. I have a lot, we have a lot of hot sauces, but some that I thought are a little hot for me, but that I really, really like, I want to try, but I'm starting to regret that because I definitely like feel the sensation of it. This one, this is absolutely delicious. Uh, the Seed Ranch Hot Thai Green Chili. We buy all the hot ones once. Let's try this one first. This one has a phenomenal flavor, but the spice is too much for me. So I'm thinking I'm going to hate it this time. I think this flavor is fantastic though. I didn't want to get any of my like favorite, favorite flavors. Oh, I put a lot on there. Let's only do a little bit since the spice sensation. Okay. That's like kind of a lot. I meant to do a drop and I have like a whole schmear. Oh no, I dropped it on my lemon. I'm going to suck it off the lemon first. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that sensation of spice comes in. Oh, it's just, it's just unpleasant actually. Maybe I won't do the other ones. Maybe I'm gonna check it out. I had two really hot ones. One is this, it's not the actual last stab. This is the, the like, the really mild and down version of the last stab. Um, the Chili de Arbol special one. It's too hot for me. And then this one I hate. This is terrible. This has an awful flavor. This Trinidad Scorpion. We, we hate it. And I was going to try that. The spice really comes through. The sensation of spice is very strong. I might be too sick to do those two. I really, I thought it would numb more of the spice in it. But like it's a full sensation of spice. With not a stick I couldn't tell if I could probably have all of those like as a blind test and they'd all just taste hot I guess that'll be the end of my test then <laughs> that's all I have here I really wish I had some natto I don't know what would be like some weird things that you guys would try if you could just eat whatever I didn't have an onion I didn't eat no raw onion the raw garlic really had quite a burn to it but otherwise it was just I probably smell terrible but it's okay nobody's home it's the only ones who were here are the cats and they love me oh do I smell bad do I smell terrible? Smells bad. Are you really shocked by how bad I smell? Puff is alarmed. She doesn't know what I'm doing. But yeah. So I'm hoping we can get better. My nose is too stuffed to talk. One sec. It's literally like every five minutes. You gotta clear your nose out completely at this stage. It's like the it's it's like the symptoms of the worst cold, but also with a low fever. And also with like body, like yesterday was so bad. I woke, I've literally woke up feeling like I had been punched three times in the face. It was like actual like physical pain, especially right here was unbelievable. Like it woke me up. I lay in bed cause I was like, the NyQuil hadn't quite kicked cause the NyQuil is supposed to last like eight hours. And I was like, okay, if I take, I and acetaminophen is right here. Like the tunnel was right by the bed. If I take one of those, then I can't have a DayQuil for this many hours and I literally lay there like in so much pain like crying in bed it like it was like 7 a.m too and I was just like wait a sec you just get up and take a day quilt so I did that and I took a shower and I felt a little bit better but it was like the pain it's just so much now it's mostly in my throat like I've got my tongue probably you can probably even tell I don't know if you can tell the camera also has some slight touch-ups, so I don't look quite as bad on camera. And then I, because I'm using my phone, it has like the minor touch-up feature. Probably look okay, actually. <laughs> you probably can't see how much my face is broken out from, I don't know why. I'm just getting like a ton of chin zits. Maybe all the fuzz is causing it. I don't know. But my, my neck is pretty swollen. My tonsils are definitely inflamed. And now they're more inflamed because I've just put a whole bunch of spicy, like, shit down there. But yeah, so it was kind of fun. It's just, it's such a weird sensation. I don't think anyone like talks about like that kind of scariness of it. But when I realized what was happening, it is kind of scary. It is kind of like you, you rely on senses so much. Something like, like smell especially. It's very disarming. Like I would not know until I saw smoke, if there was smoke in the air kind of thing. Like with the VIX, I, I, literally, literally indistinguishable from just petroleum jelly. That's so wild. I don't know. Like it's fun to do something like this and it's also like kind of really scary. 
And because that's one of those symptoms that they associate with COVID, of course, I had that panic that I have COVID, but it's not like the flu is like so much less bad than COVID is. The flu is also like equally bad and equally deadly. And I've had, I've had all my boosters. I have, I've had my like bivalent booster for COVID, thank goodness. And I had my flu shot this year, but it might've been that I got a different strain of the flu than what I got vaccinated for. Um, but luckily, like I have a pretty strong immune system. Like I, and we have been boosting, been taking vitamins every day and then taking the, the pipa loo, pipa, I don't know, this stuff. Uh, taking echinacea tablets, taking like every <coughs> <coughs> eating oranges every day since like it started. So I'm like, I've got a strong immune system. I've been doing everything I possibly can for it. Um, I have an antiviral been taking, like I'm doing everything, but it's pretty bad. I was so careful for three years. That was very healthy because of it for three years um, with the pandemic. But this last, like, ever since I got the bivalent vaccine, I was kind of like, it's almost as much as I can do. Like, if I'm just popping in and I feel totally fine. Like, if I even have, like, just the slightest runny nose or something, I'm a, I'm wearing a mask for the rest of my life in that case. Like, if I'm sick, I'm wearing a mask. It's just going to be how it is. And at work, I've always worn a mask. Just because I'm near too many people. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not taking your germs home with me. But I had kind of, like, laxed a little bit. Where it was like, if I'm just running for one thing in the grocery store and I feel great... I'm not wearing a mask all the time anymore. And it's like, it's weird. We're not at that point, you guys. We're really like, we're sharing germs in a way we should not be sharing germs. These are not like simple little kid stuff germs. Like I, I'm i on camera right now. And I'm doing this because I'm a bit bored. Because I've been doing this for a week now. These are some serious germs. And this is really kind of painful. And there are plenty of people who don't survive this, who don't have a strong immune systems or as uh, many resources. Like I'm, we've got enough sick time built up. We've got enough like resources to like fight this thing, but that's not true for everybody. And some people it can be really debilitating. I mean, I was really lucky that I could get Tammy. F oh God. <coughs> Tammy flu. Um, cause it's, it could prevent me from getting pneumonia from this. And pneumonia is a very common thing that happens to people who get the flu. So, you know, like, let's continue taking this seriously. Like, take illness seriously. If you're not feeling good, um, if it's, if you just have a cold, if you think you just have a cold, you should mask when you go out. You just should. It's a polite thing to do. And also, like, just don't be an asshole, you know, just put on a mask when you go out. It's not like it's forever. It's not like you can't breathe. If you're being a baby about it, get the fuck off my channel. <laughs> we should just, you know, take care of each other. Continue to take precautions. Josh brought it home, okay? He's been working ski patrol and there was a children's group up there, okay? That's where it came from. It wasn't my fault, but do be careful because this is like a serious thing. And yeah. Well, that's been a lot of fun. I also really want to make a video talking about Alice in Borderland because the last season kind of blew my mind. Um, but maybe I'll wait till I don't sound so sick. Or at least I can't I sound sick to myself. Maybe I sound okay on camera. I don't know. Maybe I sound like really, really cool with a deep Batman voice. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, highly recommend Lemon Wedges. Fantastic when you can't taste the sourness at all. It's really fun get that vitamin C directly into you. And I'm not wasting all of the nice clementines I have because they are very, very juicy. They taste the same as the lemons. They just taste like juicy. Hope you're having a good day. Good luck to you. Good luck to all of us. <laughs> <coughs> okay, bye. Just for funsies, I also wanted to try eating an Oreo. So here we go. Nothing. There's not really even a sensation that's really sweet. <sighs> yeah, I say eating weird food, 10 out of 10. Great time. Eating normal food, kind of a 0 out of 10 right now. Because I can't taste anything. 
Nothing is fulfilling any cravings. It's a little depressing to be perfectly honest.